So, we thought we could rest, but we cannot. And Juve and I are happy and sad, crying and smiling about it. So hi, this is John, and this is week 59 of Dot Dreams Devlog. Before I start, I would like to thank everybody who has watched our last week's episode and not calling me out for the horrible editing. We were using Drew's computer, but for some reason when I, uh, on the, on the car ride back home, and then, uh, for some reason a lot of the, the clips were corrupted, so I kept repeating and doing weird things. I thought it only happened to the editor, but, um, the, once I released it, the next day I realized, ah, oh, it's all screwed up, so thank all of you guys. Um... I think Pack South has been crazy. Actually, I would say last week has been the craziest start for 2020 that we could have imagined. And I'll tell you guys why we are happy and sad at the same time uh, as the day goes by for the week, as I recollect our week. Uh, so Monday, we actually worked on um, relaxing Houston. <laughs> uh, like I said, we were planning on taking a break for at least a week to a month. And um, because it's been so tiring preparing for Pack South, we honestly had like maybe a month to do so. So we went hardcore overdrive and we're all burnt for a bit. So we got to look around the area. The place is slow. Um, I really, really like Houston. I like the people there. They're very, very open and very, very direct. Um, and nothing, nothing makes me happier than that. Uh, so I got to see around. We also drew his dad uh, treated us to food, and I, uh, it was it was really, so I usually don't eat dinner. So he made he made me eat dinner. So I'm gonna get fat, but uh, I have someone to blame, so it's okay. Now Tuesday we flew back, but before we did, we actually got an email from uh, from University of Virginia, and apparently the group that we work with, uh, the PhD students and the professors, have been. Um, showing our projects that we did for them to everybody, the faculties, and another set of professors came to us asking us to make another project for them, and this one's a really, really big one. They came to us uh, last year in December to ask if we can work for them, and we weren't sure, but we gave them an estimate, and uh, on Tuesday morning, we realized they wanted everything, so we're like, oh god, <laughs> oh no, we thought we could rest, we thought we could recharge, but now we got to work on another VR project uh, as we go, so... That's why we're happy and sad because um, we're useful. Um, actually, I would say I'm gonna pause on the weekly recollection thing. This this whole thing has been crazy because first of all, we did not expect people to like Brave Eduardo. Um, we had no expectations to be honest. And when people came and kept telling us they loved the art and loved the game, we were so flustered. And we also weren't expecting the VR project uh, things to go through. But it also went through, and they wanted everything. And then the old old, old group that we work with, a uh, couple of PhD students, they wanted to continue on to phase three. Well, they told us that the next day too. So it's just a bunch of things came coming at once. And while we can't and Sally can't rest now, uh, because we are still going to work on Eduardo at the same time, uh, we are going to have a lot of work to do. But it's happy and f like future pr future helping future giving uh, <laughs> uh work so that's why we're happy and said sorry I, I hope i didn't try to lead you guys on too much actually let me guys know in the comments down below driven and i are thinking maybe going to the vr realm after brave eduardo but we're not sure because personally i really like how cute and how easy it is to do well not easy it's actually been hard how uh, 2d games will never go away and there's a certain quality that comes with 2d games that I think does not turn away people like a 3D game, especially VR games are. So let me know in the comments down below. So back to the week. Wednesday, I went to, I, I'm back at LA, Annie's happy, I take care of her, she takes care of me, it's mostly she takes care of me. And uh, I went to a coffee shop when she's working and I started drawing. Um, on the plane, I already drew, um, oh, Tuesday, actually, before I finish, Tuesday, um, flying back, I got to look at the, the view uh, I never flew during the daytime, so it was nice to actually see the view of the world while I'm flying back. Sometimes I really don't even feel like this is the United States because there are literally stretches of of land that has n that have nothing in it, and it's actually more eerie than it is pretty. But I enjoyed the flight, and on our way back home, I also drew two more cards. So I believe we we have like maybe 20 something cards left for me to draw. 
Uh, so the Wednesday I went to a coffee shop and then I drew three more. I, I made the bad mistake of uh, drinking coffee and I couldn't sleep that night, which was painful, but I digress. Thursday I played magic with Annie and uh, I really really thankful for her playing with me because she hates magic. <laughs> uh, but I want to test out some decks. So this is important for us because Brave Eduardo's card game, we want to make sure there's no annoying cards or cards that slow down the pace. We want the pace of the game to be fast and energetic the whole time. So we're probably going to remove most of the control cards and to have mostly happy, fun, uh, party game type of uh, cards in the cold game. Uh, and Friday, I went through all my inventory of stuff. You guys will see I have cards prepared for uh, Julie and a couple people and uh, I also bought a dice a set of dice from uh, the convention which are metal and that makes me really happy I love the color too blue and yellow uh, gold I think it's very very regal and uh, of course it fits my set no, I'm just kidding uh, but yeah so this week has been crazy um, uh, a lot of things to think about sad that we can't rest but happy that we have work to do and we're being valued um, I, I don't want to be like too uh, too not confident but honestly Drew and I have been struggling so long and we don't think uh, we don't know where our values value are and this time when the when there's official uh, organizations such as the university and PhD students liking our work and our parents both finding our work in VR project and Eduardo to be impressive and surprising that really gave us a lot of confidence so I really want to thank everybody here who's been following us and people we've talked to at PAX South we would love to talk to you guys and see you guys more. And if you want, uh, send us a message about email. We can maybe send you guys out, send out the demo earlier. But yeah, so that's generally it for this week. And we'll talk to you guys in the next week. Bye.